Hello. I need to run some errands because I'm traveling soon. I need to go downtown midtown because my mom is obsessed with Bath and Body Works. Please save that generation from Bath and Body Works. But she wants some lotion. So since I'm going to be in that area, because there's only like two in Manhattan, might as well go get Black Seed Bagel because I'm obsessed. But I was like, no, this fixation needs to stop because they're not cheap. They're quite expensive, but since I'm going to be traveling and I won't be home for like a month or so, I deserve my bagel before I have to leave it behind. <laughs> Fancy bagels don't exist in Belize. But um, Black Seed closes at 3 and it's currently 2. <laughs> also in that area is Rizzoli, which is a bookstore. It's very cute. I went with my friend Ashley um, like a month ago or something and that vlog is on Patreon. But I would ideally like to find a nice little book to read for my travels, preferably a paperback because it's easier. And I also need to go to the pet store because my mom's dog Snow needs a new collar. Let us depart. I know you're probably like, what the heck? Why do you have a green coat? Like that's so uncharacteristic of you. I bought this a couple years ago and honestly, I have no idea what I was thinking. Like, who did I think I was? And it's been sitting in my closet for the past few years. Also because it kind of triggers me because somebody that was horrible to me also had a green coat like this and um, it reminded me too much of them. But now I'm like, whatever, I need a coat because I left my actual coat in Chicago at my sister's house. I literally walked out of her apartment and I got in the car on the way to the airport and I was like, where is my coat? I literally walked out of the place without a coat. Anyways, I know it's a little bit odd for me to be wearing such bright colors but it's fine <laughs> i'm grateful to have a coat i lost an airpod it's somewhere in this crazy messy apartment
so, like I said earlier, I don't know why I use the word traveling. Like I'm not, like I'm going from one place to get the other. And then when I get to the other place, I'm staying in the other place. I'm not going around a bunch of places. That's what traveling sounds like. Anyways, I don't know why. I just need to clarify that. But I am going to be there for like a month or so. So I'm thinking I need to take some books because you know how much I read physical books. <laughs> Ah, that was sarcasm in case you didn't get that. So I'm thinking I need to choose some books. I didn't buy any books today. I only bought that notebook. That's it. And food, of course. So what should we take? Thread Needle. I've tried to start this book so many times. Uh, I just can't get into it. I don't know what it is. It's me, not you. I leave nice bookmarks in my books all the time. And I wonder where all my bookmarks go. Modern Divination. This is on my TBR for March, so I should read this pretty soon. Easter is coming up. Vacation. I don't really think I'll be taking much of a break. Sense and Sensibility. This is a cute little copy. This would be good to carry. Or, no. What am I trying to say? This isn't too heavy or too big, you know? Uh, I don't really have any. Eh, I've read all of those romance fantasies. Hmm. Oh, I need to take House of Hunger. Currently reading this. I'm still reading City, City of Stardust and I'm annotating. So if I leave it behind, then that means I can't finish it anytime soon because I'm going to want to keep annotating. So should I take this so I annotate it? But what are the chances that I'll bring it back to the States? Because then I'll be like, oh, it's a hardback. It's too bulky to bring back. We'll, we'll leave this till um, I zip up my bag to see if it'll fit. That's a tentative bringing this, this beautiful edition of To Cage a God. I just want to try and read it soon, but you know what? I probably won't. That's kind of it, I think. <laughs> Two books. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, I wanted to bring Little Women. Oh, maybe I'll take Dayboy because I still need to read that one. Oh, and God Killer. Oh, see, they're all the books that I want to read are over here. <laughs> Ooh, and I have some poems by Emily Dickinson, Dickinson that I should be reading. Okay, that's a better pile. But is it? Because now I'm going to have to pack it. We have The Selected Poems of Emily Dickinson, Dayboy by Trent Jamison, Jamieson, Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott, God Killer by Hannah Kainer, House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson, and Modern Divination by... She doesn't, they don't have their full name on there. <laughs> Isabella Agajanian. Do you think it's enough books? And obviously I'm going to take my Kindle and there's lots of books on my Kindle. I feel like I'm forgetting a book. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> this is a romance fantasy that I specifically bought to take home. To read at home. I don't know, I just thought it would be nice. You know what? I thought, I thought... I like buying books, and that's a good excuse to tell myself. <sighs> Let's pack. Mm -hmm.